Uh, Matthew Mulaney from Blue Brisbane, thank you very much for coming. I'll just get you to introduce yourself again. Man, absolute pleasure to be here. My name's Nick DeMetta, I'm the state member for Hinchinbrook. Okay, look, uh, what brought you to the uh, North Queensland rally today? Well, it was introduced to me during the state election. When I was running, I met a gentleman named Peter Rathers. And he made it imperatively uh, known to me why it was so important for North Queensland to separate. Uh, since then, I've joined with the Canada Australian Party in the Parliament, and I've just seen the disconnect, the disconnect between the South East and North and West of Queensland. Now, like I said during my speech earlier today, there's people down there that just they don't hate us. They just don't understand us. They don't understand their way of life. They don't understand the, uh, the, the problems that we've got, whether it's in agriculture or, or state development up here. They just don't get us. And we've got um, all these departments that are making decisions that decide on whether we develop the North or not, right there in 1 William Street. Right there, right next to Parliament House in, um, in Brisbane. That's where, that's the engine room of the state. They're just so disconnected. We had a, we had a lady the other day who has a project on the, on the table of the Coordinator General right now. That project uh, means that because it's in front of the Coordinator General, they've got to talk to all the different state departments on whether this project goes ahead or not. Now, this project right now is on agricultural land. They want to do something with an equestrian centre there. One of the biggest things from state development, no sorry, from the Department of Environment and Science was how are we going to deal with three events a year where there's 250 horses pooing on that land? How are you going to manage that reef runoff? They said, well, right now it's agriculture land and when that ground's good and there's good grass, we can hold 450 cows there every day of the week and no one seems to be worried about it. As soon as we want to develop that land, it turns into a major issue on you know, three events a year before there are 250 horses pooing. Well, besides development, are there any other um, particular sovereignty-related issues that concern? Oh, you know, it's it's also the the social disconnect. You know, we've we've been working with um, uh, groups up in the, in the north and the Gulf and Carpentaria, um, traditional owner groups. One of the biggest constraints on people getting a role, job up there at the moment is they need a blue card because most of the roles up in the Gulf, they're government-owned roles, right? Correct. So to, to work with children, to work in a hospital, to all these sorts of things, you need a blue card. The problem is a lot of these people have had misdemeanours through life and, you know, they just do not qualify. One thing that the KAP and Robbie Catter has been driving, so we're actually putting a bill into the house that hasn't been debated yet, is we would like to see some concessions around blue cards in those remote communities. Not because we want to soften these laws, but because you're thinking about a community with 200 to 600 people living in it. They know who the bad people are. They know who the good people are. We've got, you know, people like Arnie, for example, who's looking after 15 kids at her house, is allowed to take those 15 kids in a minibus, drop them off at school, but she's not allowed to get a job at that school where there's 30 kids in the class. And, all, and 15 of those kids are the kids that stay at her house. So we're, not, we're seeing social disconnect. They don't understand the problems up there because, tr like Robbie Catter said, we're trying to govern with one set of rules for a state, which is way too large for that. Okay, and great. One final follow-up question. What do you think of the name Boot Brisbane? Boot Brisbane? You know, I think it's catchy. I think it's a, um, a, a good lobby group uh, name. And I think uh, it's, it's carrying the, um, the message quite far. And the thing I do like about Boot Brisbane is, you know, I'm not saying uh, where, the, where the border should be for North Queensland, but maybe we should listen to a couple of our Green Shirts friends when uh, we were actually down there on the stairs of Parliament House debating uh, the, the, um, the uh, tree clearing laws. All they had to say to us KOP guys is don't forget us in the southwest corner. Please, if you're going to a border, have a think about us. We're not saying we, we want to be a few guys, but think about us because we're being just as um, forgotten as you guys up there in the north. Indeed. Yeah. Well, thank you very thank much. Thank you so much, Matt. Real pleasure to talk yeah, to you. What's indeed.